Hey guys, welcome to Windows Better. And today in this video, I will show how to perform a clean install of Windows 11 24H2 on an unsupported PC. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And now let's begin. Installing Windows 11 on an unsupported PC is easy. All you need is a system with a processor that supports SSE 4.2, a USB with a minimum capacity of 8 gigabytes, we recommend using a blank USB because any content on it will be deleted during the creation process and a working internet connection. Before proceeding, back up your data. Now, download the Windows 11 version 24H2 image from the official website. And Rufus, a free open source app for creating bootable media. After the files are downloaded, open Rufus, and then connect your USB. In Rufus window, select the drive from the device drop-down list. Now select the downloaded ISO image. Now choose the partition scheme GPT for UEFI systems and MBR for legacy systems. Now click Start and check the Remove Requirement for 4GB Plus RAM, Secure Boot, and TPM 2.0 option. Without it, Windows 11 24H2 will not install on your computer. You can also opt for Remove Requirement for an online Microsoft account. It will let you set up your Windows 11 with a local account. Proceed with all the prompts and wait for the app to finish the process. Now the USB flash drive will now serve as bootable Windows 11 installation media. Click on close. Again, before proceeding, please back up all content you want to keep from the Windows device you will clean install, as all content on it will be deleted during the process. The content may include photos, documents, application files, etc. You may now clean install Windows 11 on your device from the installation media you created. Attach the USB flash drive to the PC on which you want to clean install Windows 11. Restart your PC and then boot to boot menu. Choose to boot from the USB drive. On the Windows Setup page, select your language, time, and keyboard preferences, and then click on Next. On the Select Setup option, with selected Install Windows 11, check this box, then click on Next. On the Product Key page, select I don't have a product key. Your copy of Windows will be automatically activated later after reconnecting your Microsoft account. On Select the Image page, choose the edition of Windows 11, then click Next. If you agree to the Microsoft Software License Terms, click Accept. Now, on Select Location to install Windows 11 page, delete partitions one by one. Delete partition until you see unallocated space. Be very careful and only delete the partitions of the target disk on which you wish to install Windows 11. For the safety, you can also disable the other disks from BIOS or can disconnect physically. After deleting the partitions with selected unallocated space, click on Next. Don't wanna it, baby. It's just me, 
Now Windows 11 is ready to install. Click on Install, and Windows 11 will be installed in a while. During the installation process, your target system will restart several times, so don't worry about that. When at Setup screen, continue with the setup according to your preferences. After your PC restarts, continue to set up your copy of Windows 11. If you're connected to the internet, Windows 11 will automatically check for updates. However, for devices running Windows 11 on hardware that doesn't meet the requirements, the feature update won't be available through the Windows Update settings. Nor users will be able to use the Installation Assistant tool or the standard USB bootable media created using the Media Creation tool. After your PC restarts, continue to set up your copy of Windows 11. and Windows 11 has been successfully installed on unsupported hardware. Let me show you the device specs and Windows specs. Here you can see, the processor is Intel Core i5-6500, which is a 6th gen Intel CPU, and officially Windows 11 isn't supported on this CPU. And the version of Windows 11 is 24H2. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great time ahead.